Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this absolutely beautiful popcorn motif. Now this little square is absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and simple. It's just four rounds, including this squaring off round. It's really effective. It's got so much texture. I'm obsessed and it makes for really beautiful floral looking blankets. To begin, pop a slip knot onto your hook and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to form a little ring in which we can work all our stitches. So to do that, we're going to slip stitch into that very first chain that you made. Just work a slip stitch in there. And we'll have a little circle. This is where we'll work all our stitches for the first round. So for round one, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, which counts as our first double crochet. And then I'm going to turn my work. Now this tail, I want to work over it and ensure that it pulls nice and snug at the end. The best way I've found to do that is to flip your work. I'm literally just flipping it. So this tail, faces this way. So we're going to lie it around the ring. Now working over that tail and into this central ring here where I'm popping my finger out, we're going to work 15 double crochet stitches. So I've just folded this tail out the way and into that ring, 15 double crochet stitches. So that's one, I need 14 more because this chain three counts as the first double crochet. So that's one, two, I need 16 in total. So let's work 14 more double crochets. If you start to run out of room, you can scooch these stitches around. So once you have worked your stitches, we're just going to take a moment now to check we have 16 stitches, including this chain three. Vitally important we have 16. If we don't get this first round right, all the others will be off. So just count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But you're happy you have the correct amount of stitches we're going to slip stitch to the top of that initial chain three so just straight into the top there work a slip stitch then chain one cut your yarn leaving a long length to weave in afterwards pull that out and pull that tight now the tail from your chain ring we're now going to pull that and it should cinch that central ring closed. Now under this stitch next to where I slip stitched, I'm going to bring my hook from the back to the front, just under that stitch, grab this tail, 
and just pull it to the back. That just gets it out of the way for now. These will of course need to be woven in at the end. Now I'm going to bring in my next colour and my next colour I'm going to join into this stitch where we just pulled that yarn tail through. So I'm going to place my hook underneath that stitch and I'm going to join in my next colour. Now you're free to join your new yarn however you prefer. I personally like to pop a slip knot onto my hook and then I pull that loop to the front. Now we're ready to begin round two. For round two, to begin, chain two and into that very same stitch, we're going to work one double crochet stitch. Then chain two, one, two, and into the very next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet two together. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. We've got a half finished double crochet hanging from our hook. Now yarn over, go back into that exact same stitch, draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. You'll have two half finished double crochets hanging from your hook and three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all three loops to bring those two double crochets together. Chain two, one, two, and we're going to repeat into the next stitch a double crochet two together. So yarn over, go into the stitch and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. Then again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then once you have two half finished double crochets hanging from your hook and three loops on your hook, we're going to draw them together. So yarn over, pull through all three loops. We're going to repeat this all the way around. Chain two, double crochet two together in the next stitch. Chain two, double crochet two together into the next stitch. Keep working this all the way around into the top of every stitch from row one. Now I've worked my way around into the top of every clear stitch I can find. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of these double crochet twos together. I need one more for a total of sixteen, but I've reached this chain three section that we slipped into from the row below. Now you could go into the side here where there's a clear stitch, however that will leave you a bit of a little bulge. So what I like to do for this very last one, so I'm going to chain two, is work into the centre of the top here. Just eyeball it, find the centre and work my final double crochet two together in here. So I'm ignoring this little chain loop, I'm ignoring this little slip stitch, all of this I'm ignoring and I'm working into the centre of this chain here. So I'm just going to put my hook right in the centre, I'm going to battle my way through. I'm going to shove my hook in and work my double crochet two together in there. So my 16th double crochet two together is worked into the sort of middle section, top, wherever you can sort of eyeball it of the chain three from the row below. Then to finish this round, ensuring you have 16 double crochet two togethers all the way round, chain two if you haven't already done so. And we're going to slip stitch into this very first chain two space that you made. So ignoring the double crochet two together, I'm ignoring Steve, who is 
trilling at birds on the windowsill, we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space here. Then chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a nice long length for weaving in. And then we're going to pull that out and pull it tight. Round two, complete. Now grab your next colour of yarn for round three. So we're going to pick any of these chain two spaces to work into for round three. So I'm just going to pop my hook in here and again, join your yarn however you prefer to join your yarn. For me, that is a slip knot on my hook. And bringing that loop to the front of my work. For round three, we're going to start by chaining four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to be working popcorns for this round. Now we're working treble popcorn stitches. So this chain four counts as our first treble. And we need four more for a total of five. So into this same chain two space, I'm going to work four more trebles. Now a treble is yarn over twice before you even begin your stitch. So you've yarned over twice and then go into the chain two space, draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Then yarn over and draw through those final two. It's a nice tall stitch. So that's one, I need three more. So again, yarn over twice before you go into the chain two space. So that's one, two, three, I need five. So I'm gonna keep going. So I've got my chain four, which counts as the first treble, then four more trebles. Now to complete the popcorn stitch, I'm going to lift my loop up, take my hook out, careful that loop doesn't disappear, and I'm going to put my hook into the top of this chain four. So just pop your hook in there, put that loop back on your hook, pull it down, and then I'm going to draw this loop through the top of that chain. That creates your popcorn stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three. And into the next chain two space, work a five treble popcorn stitch. So we're going to work five treble stitches into here, and then we're going to form the popcorn. So remember, yarn over twice before you begin any one of these stitches. So five trebles into the next chain two space. It's one. Two. Three. Four, and five. Once you have five trebles, lift up your loop, take out your hook, find that very first treble that you made, put your hook under the top of that stitch, put the loop back on your hook, pull it tight, and then draw this loop through the top of the stitch. chain three. So we're going to repeat this little section into every chain two space all the way around. Five trebles, which then you form a popcorn and then chain three. So five trebles.
form your popcorn. Chain three. Work this into every chain two space around. So once you have worked your final popcorn stitch into that final chain two space, chain three if you haven't already, and then we're going to skip this first popcorn we made and slip stitch into the chain three space right in front of it. So just reach over into that very first chain three space that you made to slip stitch, then chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a nice long tail to weave in, pull that up and out, and then go, what on earth? <laughs> Don't panic if your motif is looking like this. Just push it down. It's the texture of these incredible popcorns. If you just push down round two, you'll see you have this amazing circular, very textured motif. You should have 16 popcorn stitches with 16 chain three spaces in between them. Now grab the colour for your final round. For round four, again pick any of these chain spaces and attach your yarn with your preferred method. To begin round four, chain four. One, two, three, four. That chain four counts as a treble crochet. Now we're going to work two more treble crochets into this chain three space. So the trebles are exactly the same as you made with your popcorn rows with the yarning over twice before you begin the stitch. That's one, and that's two. So that is your first half of a corner made. Now into the next chain three space, work three double crochet. So just yarn over once and work three double crochets into that chain three space. That's one, two, three. Now into the next chain three space, we're going to work three half double crochets. So yarn over into that chain three space, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all three. It's a half double crochet. So we want three in total. Now into the next chain three space, work three double crochets. Then into the next chain three space, we're going to work a corner. Now that is three treble crochets. Chain three, one, two, three, and work three treble crochets back into that same chain three space. Now 
So we're going to be squaring off this popcorn flower motif. So working along the sides, three double crochets, one, two, three, and then into the next chain three space, three half double crochets, one, two, three. So we've come down in height. Now we're going to go back up. So into the next chain three space, work three double crochets. One, two, three. And then we're going to work a corner. So into the next chain three space. So three trebles, chain three, three trebles. So we're on to our third side now. So working into the next chain three space, three double crochet. Then three half double crochets into the next chain three space. Then three double crochets into the next chain three space. Then we'll work a corner into the next chain three space. So three trebles, chain three, three trebles all into that same chain three space. Then we're on to the final side. So three double crochets into the next chain three space. Three half doubles into the next one. Followed by three doubles into that final chain three space. Now we'll be right back to where we started and in the beginning we only formed half a corner so we need to finish that one off. So into the first chain three space where we joined our yarn we're going to work three more treble stitches. Then chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch to join to the top of this chain four that you made right in the very beginning. So find the top of that chain four and slip stitch in there. Chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a nice long length for weaving in. Pull it up, out and tight. And you should have a nice square 
motif. The back looks really good, ignoring all these tails that need to be woven in. The back, I really like the texture on the back. It looks really, really funky. And from the front, I mean, this, this motif is just incredible. These popcorns, so much texture, makes for a really fantastic motif. When it comes to joining your squares, the world is your oyster. You can crochet them together or sew them together. For my particular blanket, I made all my popcorn motifs first, and then as the last step, I joined them in cream using continuous join as you go. I have a playlist full of joining techniques, so I've got you covered there too. This motif makes really, really pretty blankets. So yeah, join them however you see fit. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you go on to make one of these beautiful popcorn motifs blankets for yourself. Please do let me know what you think of this motif down in the comments section. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.